K-I-S-A-P-R-O-J-E-C-T-S My 8S blades I start with one. So after unloading it, that 8S blade it has uh, a length of one meter or 100 centimeters. So after unloading it, I insert a round nut into it until it sits at the bottom like that. Then after. I'll get the other tip of the ATS blade and I pass it at the bottom of the cutting machine just like the way you see. Then I'll pull the blade. You can keep following the pictures as they are shown to you on your screen. So you keep on pulling the blade until when it touches the bottom of the cutter. Then I attach the blade onto the bolt. Yeah. I attach the blade onto the bolt just like the way you are seeing. Remember, we are the Kisa Projects, your home of entrepreneur was located here in Komamboga or Komokaga along Gayaza Road. You need to talk to us, you can give us a call on plus 256752492194 or plus 256779593452. So I can use a plier to tighten the wick for you to tighten the blade onto onto the bolt. Our WhatsApp contact is plus two five six seven seven nine five nine three four five two. So that's what I'm doing. So after that it's now tight onto the bolt. I pass it through this area. There's an opening on the cutter where the bolt should pass. So at first you see a washer on, on, in two, the washer, the washer has a hole. The hole of the washer should pass through. The bolt should pass in through the hole of the washer, and then it sits on the cutter. Then you bring the wing nut and you tighten them together, just like the way you are seeing me doing it. Yeah. So I use a wing nut to tighten or to straighten the cutter blade so that it can give me accurate cuttings when I'm using it to cut my bar soaps to whatever size I need yeah so right now we are just assembling one wing of the cutter but remember the cutter has two wings one wing will give us the width of the soap the other wing will give us the height of the soap however we shall get the length of the soap from the mold make sure the cutter you are using is a mirror treated Note that not each and every material will be used in manufacturing a soap cutter. Remember the video you are watching right now is all about a KISA project soap bar table cutting machine. So our soap bar table cutting machines are always treated with chemical mirrors that prevents the material that we are using in designing our table from getting to contact or affecting the product that we shall use on the cutter or the product that we shall be using to all the products we shall be cutting on the table cutter so these materials we are using are all treated with chemical mirrors so after assembling one end or one side of the table cutter so i got the other end or the other side of the table cutter i followed the same procedures i passed the cutting blade from the bottom of the cutter then it should come up to the other end or through the cutter like that then I get a bolt I attach the ATS blade onto the bolt just like that I can use a plier to tighten it onto the bolt just like that you can repeat it once to confirm strength 
then after that you pass it through this area then you strengthen the ATS bolt the ATS blade by use of a wing nut a washer first then a wing a wing nut yeah so move a wing nut clockwise as it is strengthening or as it is pulling the ATS blade to make it so straight and so sharp to give you accurate cuttings when you are cutting your finished bar of soap. You can get this type of table cutting machines here at Kisa Projects currently at just a fee of Ugandan shillings, 500,000 Ugandan shillings. They are already really available here at Kisa Projects and at that fee, the cutting machine comes with a one saponification rock mold that has a capacity of producing 20 bars of soap per batch. Yeah. Remember, you can use several molds on one table cutting machine. Even if you have 20 molds, you can use them on one table cutting machine. So if you have 20 molds of capacity, 20 kilograms of soap per batch, which means you can produce 20 times 20 bars of soap. That is 400 bars of soap using the same table cutting machine. So after that, you have to adjust the size of the cutter basing on the size of the soap that I'm targeting to get. For instance, for me right now, I'm adjusting the table cutting machine to give me an accurate bar soap size of one kilogram. So if I'm doing that, the W wing of my table cutting machine should be 5.5 centimeters and the E wing of the table cutting machine should be at 3.5 seven centimeters so let's see if i truly have it actually at 3.7 centimeters by 5.5 centimeters but before i show you my measurement let me first strengthen the cutting blade that it becomes so sharp to give me accurate cutting when i'm using it to get the actual size of the finished bar of so we have several videos on our youtube channel showing you how to use how to use a temple cutting machine of kisa projects to actually cut per soap and you get final smart endings so here you can see we are actually happy having 3.7 centimeters so let's look at the other wing so this is how you adjust you can adjust by knocking this end or the other end but we need to prolong your measurements still at the bottom you can adjust by knocking this wing this end or the other end depending on how you want to adjust your measurements so this area you have it actually so let us also test or let us also find out whether i have it it's a little bit lacking so i have to adjust a little bit by knocking at the bottom also at the top because it should be the same from the bottom to the top so the alignment should be the alignment should be the same distance away from the blocking pad Yes, we should be having it accurately at 5.5 centimeters. That is, if at all we are, we are, we are, we are cutting, a, if at all our target is to cut above soap of one kilogram weight. So, let me sharpen the ATS blades by screwing the wing nut clockwise until when the ATS blade is so so sharpened or very straightened like that so i can remeasure again to see if i have it actually at 5.5 it's still lacking i can adjust a little bit at the top where it's lacking but still have to find out whether i have it actually at the bottom let me see yes i have it actually at the bottom don't worry i must show you this so here i have it at 5.5 you see Actually at 5.5 even at the top so we are done and our table cutting machine is ready for use or it's ready for you to come and pick it here at Kisa